All right, so guys, I, I just want to kick us off uh, with this a little bit of sound from Donald Trump uh, this past weekend uh, in, in a rally in Richmond, Virginia. And they say, always trying to demean, well, MAGA really uh, represents 48 percent of the Republican Party. No, it represents 96 percent and maybe 100 percent. We're getting rid of the Romneys of the world. We want to get Romneys and those out. But they know that we are the only ones who can stop them. Game on, Trump. Game on. I've been in this party since 1976. If anyone is the biggest rhino, it's you. And we coming for you. So just so you understand, you drew the line, baby, stepping up to it. And a whole lot of Republicans out there, at least 40 percent or more, are stepping to that line, too. So you just need to chill on that. What you got, y'all? Oh, Alicia, Michael's still putting Donald Trump on notice. That. Just on notice. You bring it, baby, because you, you just, you want to punk? Let's punk, baby. Let's go. One on one. Do I will, it. I will take you one Michael Steele and raise you a Sarah Longwell who had this very accurate tweet in reference to that sound. She said, remember when Carrie Lake said she wanted McCain voters out of the party, didn't want their votes? I forget. Is she the governor of Arizona right now? Or no, we've already mm. seen this movie play out when you yes. say we are not a big tent and we don't want you at our table. And, and that's the stupidity of the whole thing. So all of these folks, these, these late-to-the-table rhinos, you want to throw a rhino? Donald Trump, you are the biggest rhino in the room, the biggest one. And you've duped these folks into thinking that you're somehow the conservative standard bearer? Come on. You want to try to build a party and grow it? You're not doing it. You're shrinking. What elections have you won? What elections have you won? None, except your own. And you're not winning this one because you didn't win the last one. Well, and Simone, can I say that when we look at, you know, I know there's like all of this heat right now about polling. Part of the challenge for Biden and for Democrats is they, they are welcoming a broader coalition, right? Yes. They are trying to piece together a more diverse group. And yes, it's that requires more effort. Yes. That is how the party has been. I mean, can I say a point about your point about Carrie Lake? Yep. It's so interesting because now she's literally begging for McCain voters in yes. Arizona to support her. Yes. And uh, Megan McCain is basically like, do not cross go. I am, we heard what you said and we're done with you. And that speaks volumes, I think, in Arizona and is a problem, shows how it's a problem, not just for Donald Trump at the top, but down ballot. When it comes to the Democratic Party apparatus, it's a, you know, we just had joking when we say it's a big tent. The tent, the tent is large. If we sat here, we could put a hundred different, as I like to call factions on the board of people that are, yeah. or groups that are under the umbrella of the Democratic Party apparatus. Apparatus. So when you have a big tent, that means you you do have to speak to a broad swath of people. Um, but it can be done. It has been done. Joe Biden did it in 2020. Democrats did it in the most recent midterm elections. Tom Swazi did it in uh, New York 3 just recently. And I, I think Joe Biden is going to be able to do it come this November. So folks just going to have to organize and calm down. But I'm, I'm here for uh, the drag nah, I, that Michael look, Steele had. I just, for you know, I'm just Trump. so sick of this crap from these crazy folks that think that they are now the, you know, the the anchor of Republicanism. You're not. Just trust me, you're not. You're well, not take your party back there, Michael Steele, oh, because the people are just acting up. Now the line's been drawn. Let's go. Let's